Hello. There have been a number of questions around positive tests for both students, um, staff, and teachers, and also for family members that, that students, staff, and teachers are living with. Um, I cannot give you specifics to these questions yet. I can tell you that um, the governor's roadmap and her executive order 142 outlines the expectation within our COVID-19 preparedness and response plan that we have to submit to the ISDs by um, August 17th and must be approved by the state on August 19th. Have to have a plan internal to every building on what happens when a student or a staff member or teacher exhibits multiple symptoms that are aligned with um, a, a virus. Uh, that includes making sure we have a location that is a um, quarantine location within our building, that any student or staff member or, or teacher that comes down sick while they're in our building immediately goes to that, reports to that under the um, uh, accountability of one of our staff members who's been trained in these things. Um, they have to wear a mask until they're um, able to leave the building uh, back to their uh, guardian or their parent or on their own volition as a, as a staff member or teacher. Aside from that, everything that happens around any time we hear of a positive um, testing result has to be, in, uh, we have to inform immediately the um, Calhoun County Public Health Department and we have to take leadership and direction from the County Health Department on our next steps. A positive does not necessarily mean infectious and so we have to take the guidance of our physicians and the County Health Department in determining how we uh, mitigate those issues. I'm sorry I can't give you more, but that's, that's the guidance that we're getting. Thank you.